What's going on guys, it's your boy back with another video and today we got, my sister got married by the Merrill Twins and this video just came out today so you know how to get it for you guys and before we get into the video, once again, I know I've been saying it in all the past couple videos but congratulations Ron Ron, yo, y'all really got married bro, that's crazy yo, you really got married, who would have fucking thought bro, this shit is just... Literally, I could go on for hours about how crazy it is. So, yo, enough of me talking. We got a video to get to. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Also, they're so beautiful, bro. Oh, my God. But, yeah, no green screen today, bro. No green screen today. I, I'm just lazy. I didn't want to put it up. So, you get to see my background. All right, let's go. Facts. So, you about to change the name for the... To, to, to the marrow. Wait, hold it up. You got to change that to Veronica Burris. So this is going to be the Burris and Merrill Twins channel. Nice. You can tell by the title of the video, Ronnie is married. They are my eyes. It's shiny. It's not Bro. clickbait. This is a legit, real thing. It's kind of crazy, but it is such an exciting time in our lives. Oh, yeah, for sure. Chapter. If you guys haven't seen any of the videos on Aaron's channel. We go more in depth of our relationship and what's been happening Bro. in our lives with me and Aaron. They actually confirm Ron Ron and they kind of take you guys back to when it first started and just kind of explain Bro. why they kept their relationship private and stuff. So make sure to go to Aaron's channel to check all of that. Or you can go to my channel and check it out. That That's you can go for Ron and Aaron to talk about. Yes, you can go watch it on his On channel. my channel. But Ron Ron is real and so the reason we're making video today is because we want to let you guys know what is going on with the Merrill twins what's going to happen you know we don't want people to freak out so when it comes to the Merrill twins and our channel and the future of our channel nothing's really going to change the only thing that's changing is I'm not gonna be living here anymore and I'm just gonna be driving to here and just hanging out with you guys all the time yeah, so we're still gonna be making videos every single Tuesday I still bet Bet. Um, the only difference is Ronnie is married and I'm not living here and she's not living here, which is sad. I mean, Damn, that's crazy, bro. So we're filming this video the day after Ronnie's gotten married. Oh. Yes, it was a beautiful wedding. We got married at a courthouse. It was a really nice ceremony. It was very intimate. All of our family was there. Very small. So great. It rained. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> Oh, she's seeing her cry gonna make me cry. We've been together our whole lives, and it's just—it's so I'm tearing up, bro. Fuck, so fuck. Sad. It's a you know a little bit of change, but it's okay because this is just a new chapter in our lives, yeah. and if we are never changing. If we're never growing as people, we're not living life to the fullest. Damn! Where you hear this from, a book? Our mom you know, came up with this acronym for change called Courage, Hope, and New Growing Experiences. And that's what change is. And even though change can be hard and it's sad, it's also exciting. And, wow. You know, yeah. Ronnie's not going to be living here. Not much is going to change on the Merrill Twins channel, but it is going to be a little different. Mm -hmm. We're not going to spend, you know, every single night together. We're not going to wake up and see each other in the mornings for breakfast. I mean, maybe she'll spend the night here sometimes because her room is still going to be here. She still has, like, all her clothes here. It's still a mess. <laughs> but it's a good thing. And even though it's, like, sad because it's, like, wow. we're sisters and we're, like, kind of separating we're not really so yeah. it's just it's a bittersweet <sighs> wow so happy for and just Aaron. seeing the emotion and from what nessa oh so sweet i don't like seeing her cry and i'm just so happy for ronnie and this new chapter in her life mm -hmm. oh they're hugging and yeah so we can talk about the wedding <laughs> Which I think, you know, it may be seem like it was a bad thing that it rained, but it never rains here. And Ronnie's and Aaron's like photos and the wedding was so peaceful and just beautiful because there was rain in the background and just like the ambiance. It was just so, just so nice. It was it? I was so nervous. I don't even, I couldn't even think straight. I know. She kept getting mad 
me because I had the wrong umbrella. <laughs> huh? The wrong umbrella? <laughs> yeah, I bought specific umbrellas. <laughs> and I was afraid that everyone's going to be like, that's my umbrella. And I was like, no, I, that was supposed to be mine. <laughs> Anyways, it was a beautiful wedding, and Ronnie looked absolutely gorgeous. She did. He looked amazing. Family and um, Tiger and Tiger Guppy got Guppy. there. Gup, gup. When I was walking down the aisle with my dad, I was like, hey, don't get emotional, don't cry. And then as soon as I saw Nessa holding Tiger, and Tiger was like this, <laughs> I was like ah. Yeah, I was holding Tiger because he was cold, because it's cold in California right now. He was shivering. But yeah, it was such a good day. Gup. Yeah. After we came back to the house, and we had dinner with everyone. Mm -hmm. with some oh, food, that should look good as fuck. And we just went back to the apartment and just... Yeah, so now Aaron's apartment is now Ronnie's apartment. Yeah. Two. It's them both. What? What? It's so nice. It's such a nice apartment. I went from living in this amazing house to that apartment. Ronnie. Yeah. Poor Aaron. Thanks, yeah. Poor Aaron and Guppy. The neighbors are loud. Yeah. It's definitely a change. It's a big change and adjustment for me for sure. I miss my bed already. <laughs> Hold on, that's your bed now? That shit nice as fuck. I've worked really hard on the apartment. And um, so, so like, has Aaron. We bought furniture together yeah, like way before we knew. Slowly they've been decorating the apartment and yeah. getting it re ready together. Just Aaron's been living I there. Because we knew that we were going to get married. And I was like, if he's going to buy furniture for the apartment, it better be good for <laughs> her. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to give my input <laughs> And then, because if we were get if we were going to get a house, that furniture would come with us because there's no reason to get rid of the furniture. Right. So it just needed to look good. <laughs> and just a reminder, you guys, like if you have any questions, and if you're watching this video and you're like, well, why are they telling us now? Like, what? what? <laughs> I don't get it. Just watch all of Aaron's videos. He has those three videos. That yeah, I have them on my channel too. Aaron watch them. Talked em. about it on Aaron's channel about why we kept our relationship very private and just never confirmed. I think a lot of the viewers understood that me and Aaron were dating. We just never confirmed it. But then there's also a lot of you guys who are watching who just didn't think we were. I think for us, it was just so important to keep things private because uh, social media can be so damaging to relationships. Oh, yeah, for sure. And we've seen a lot of relationships get damaged from it. But then we've also seen a lot of relationships succeed. And for sure. And just so wonderful. And those people are so happy. But, you know, they also have gone through challenges with social media. And we just didn't want to take that risk and put ourselves out there. And especially knowing that sometimes videos with, like, your boyfriend or girlfriend do so much better than other videos. Sometimes it can get a little confusing of what are we posting for ourselves or what are we posting for the views. I hope that makes sense. No, no, I so get that. I get that. I've always been so cautious of <laughs> that and just prioritizing our relationship okay. over everything and making sure we were just genuine to ourselves and i think oh yeah, for every sure. relationship is different i think um, so too yeah and you know some things work for other people some things don't work for other people i think mm -hmm. it was very obvious that ron ron has been real this whole time they just never confirmed it because it was easier to not confirm it oh, but yeah. it really has been very real and like if you look on aaron's instagram if you look like if you look on Ronnie's Instagram, look in his videos, you can tell that they are together. And I think what happened now is that Ronnie and Aaron, they're like married. I don't know if you guys know this, but that is a lifelong commitment. Oh, yeah. That's... Ron Ron is never going to end now. That's crazy, yo. Basically, Literally, yo. <laughs> Comment down below how many times I said that's crazy. I feel like I've said it like 10 times already, bro. That's crazy. Okay, I did it again. Video about the relationship to show you a little bit more of that side of their relationship because there's going to be no we broke up video oh, like, yeah, knock on wood they're going to be knock on wood bro forever. like thank god and praise the lord hallelujah they were private and didn't share their parts of their relationship and you know to where people would comment and people's opinions would get to them like that never happened they literally enjoyed their relationship like oh what the hell sometimes the comments would get yeah, to yes there were a few that were just kind of but for the most part they avoided a lot of negativity that could have happened oh yeah for sure and okay that makes me really proud and that they were able to kind of just have a normal relationship somewhat somewhat so <laughs> That I just remember Ronnie specifically in the beginning was like, I just want to protect the relationship. I 
just want to protect it. Aww. That's, that was like the number one priority was to protect it. I also wanted to protect ourselves too. Like, um, like Aaron, I was really scared of him becoming a brand, brand with me. The oh. thing about like YouTube sometimes in specifically like couples is that they end up forming a brand in the Facts, yo. Those videos Facts. So well for them. Like, and Nessa as uses as me for her video. Dating and stuff, like, that's <laughs> good. And if you make videos and stuff, like, that's uh, fine. Bro. That's, people do that. But you should also be able to, like, be yourself. Oh, yeah. No, no. For real, for real. By yourself. And people can watch it. But sometimes that just happens on YouTube. And yeah. And it can just really ruin a relationship. Which is why Ronnie and Aaron tried to, like, avoid that. Mm -hmm. Because or, they're their own people. I or, think yeah, facts. or it just doesn't feel genuine. Yeah. I think something that is really important that a lot of you should hear us say, and this is our opinion, but social media should not be the place where you go for validation. Facts, facts, facts. Or self, facts. whether that's for yourself, like if you're in a relationship, or to prove you have friends, like all facts. this stuff. Social media is not the place for that. Facts. And I know there's a lot of people out there who get mad if their significant other doesn't post about them. So yeah, I don't give a fuck. You don't post about me. Who gives a shit? Social media can actually just be really toxic for personal relationships, for yourself. And you all know that. That's why we always have to be careful. But I think that's also a reason why Ronnie and Aaron didn't post because... They're, they're not trying to find validation in that. Right. I think the same thing too. Yeah. She, I couldn't figure out how to explain it, so she explained it. Perfect, yo, for real, yo, like, yo, no bullshit. And that's just been hitting the nail on the head or head on the nail or you know what I'm trying to say. But like, yo, she's been killing it, like with her words. She's she knows exactly what she was trying to say. She just you know, shout out to you, Nessa, dog. Yo, you really you are killing it. Should be very cautious about be what what uh -huh. is, what controls your relationship. Is it really worth fighting over someone your significant with your significant other about a post if they haven't posted you or not? I think like you know, to anyone watching and stuff. Like I know you're watching social media right now. Set Technically, boundaries, limit yourself. Um, if you're in a relationship, spend time with the person. Don't focus on oh I have to post a story with them to show how cute we are. See if you're like that, that's O D, bro. Yeah, bro I, I can't be with no girl that's like that. That's too you know, much. Like bro. That. You don't you gotta really post like each other. It's relax. That, that you are in a happy relationship. Both of you just need to get off and actually spend time Oh yeah for sure. Time. For sure. You can also post good memories you as long as it's not a controlling factor in your relationship. If you post pictures that are just you know about your life and you're just wanting to show people like oh this is what I've been up okay. to then that's fine. Yeah. If it's for the wrong reasons, that's where it's bad and not good for a relationship. Facts. Because there's also cute photos. Like, there's that one cute photo of Ronnie and Aaron and Guppy all dressed in Gup, Gup. Gup. I, I like that photo. I liked why it. Not? Why wouldn't we post that? that exactly. Was, I'm not thinking like, oh my gosh, he didn't post that picture. Ugh. Great content. Well, I think we should bring in Aaron. Hey, hey Ron. My brother-in-law. That's oh bro. God. That's crazy. Wow. Brother-in-law. It's real. <laughs> this isn't a prank. <laughs> 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 he's oh, like, yeah. He's like, I didn't know we could do this in a video. <laughs> okay. I just called him brother-in-law. That's weird. Well, you're. He's that's your father-in-law. Father I've been fighting my son-in-law for a long time. Oh. <laughs> strong relationship and in my opinion one of the strongest relationships I've seen over any social media. We're married so like you said Nessa it's been a bittersweet moment for me because I've lived my entire yeah, Aaron, life. I like the mullet and all but I think it's time for a cup brother. You need to get a new cup bro. And then now I can hook it up. Can Give it first one for free. It's a nice apartment. <laughs> Not We're as nice in, as this house, but it's a nice. I tell her this all the time. I was like, you have to remember when you and your family started, you guys started in like a smaller house, and now you're at like the top level. Facts. And with me, we have to start back at the bottom, and then we're going to have a nice house. Like, facts, facts. I like that. I like that. Erin trying to take the humble way up. I like that. I window crying. I was like, what's wrong? And she was like, my room. I'm going to miss it. Hey, we have a really nice view of a parking lot. It's a really nice parking lot. Yes. It's been a transition for me, especially because, you know, I'm mourning the life that I had with my family, but now I'm also celebrating a new life that I'm going to be creating with you. And Guppy. And, and Guppy. <laughs> Can't and forget about Gub Gub. It's a package deal. Uh, I'm his stepmom now. But I think um, I've been really, I really appreciate your support and 
that's your, your understanding because I was really sad, but I was like, I don't want to let Aaron know I'm sad because he's going to think that I'm not excited to marry him. <laughs> but that wasn't the case. He was very understanding. What? I'm joking. I just didn't want you to think that because I was so excited to marry you. And no. I mean, like, I, did. I, I mean, went I through with it. I completely understand. When I first moved away from my parents and stuff, I had the same feelings. Yeah. But. So... You maybe when you move out eventually it may not be the same. I got a I got a spot here for you if you're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ready, we got Have a spot. Have you seen my room? Why would I leave that room? <laughs> Watch our room tour. Tour. Mm -hmm. You'll see Damn, that shit look nice as hell. Literally, it's like peace and quiet, and I have like a gaming room. You guys have a very nice. One day we'll get One here. One okay? day. 2022, we're gonna get a house. Oh shit. A small house, and it'll work out. Okay. Hey. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, will well, you guys be documenting stuff like that? I don't know. We're still going to be as private as possible. Yeah, well, one of the things I told her is uh, one of the channels that I've been watching and that I really kind of relate to is Roman Atwood's vlog channel. I like how he okay. like, films and vlogs, but he's not too, like, heavy on just the family stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still his He still thing. does, like, fun challenges and yeah. fun videos, yeah. Yeah. but I think includes that's... his family here and And there. his life along the way. So you're, like, going along with him without being, like, completely, like, you guys can expect okay. that. <laughs> I will say one thing that I didn't say in our in our video was that I am very grateful to have you guys, like your family and our family and our friends, because you guys definitely helped us along the way. During the beginning when people were very like, Oh, uh, like not understanding. A lot of people really were trying to pressure Ronnie and Aaron to use their relationship to for views and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy that someone would even say Sex. that to them. And not just someone, multiple people, but... They stuck to what their hearts were telling them, and they did what was best for them. And I think the last four years have totally paid off. Like what oh, you yeah, guys definitely. To do, and it's very respectable. <laughs> do you have anything else you would want to add? I feel like we covered all the Ooh, bases. Maybe another thing is why we never announced that we were engaged. A lot of people post on social media like, we're engaged. <laughs> mm -hmm. We still felt like it was in, in our hearts. The best move was to wait till after we get married to announce everything, because even with like getting engaged, it could we could have been exploiting our relationship. And I think that's when we realized that we were gonna post the Ron Ron video, proposal video, wedding. So we're just gonna post we're married, but you know it's, it's better if we. Build yeah, now the build up was worth it. You guys pulled the Kylie Jenner. What? What? You know how she hid her pregnancy? You guys hid your marriage. I didn't know she did that. And I didn't know she did that either. Oh, Oh my gosh. We know. Successful. We're doing what a lot of celebrities do. A lot of celebrities get married privately. Yeah, and that's okay. Because we're celebrities. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. I also um, kept my last name too, but added Aaron's last name. So I'm Veronica Jo Merrill <laughs> Burris. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I, it's weird to hear. It's not weird. Wait, the hyphen or the Burris part? My Both. <laughs> oh. Also, one last thing before we you know, get off. I don't want to see any comments about pregnancy or anything <laughs> like that. If that happens, they will announce it, but don't, don't ever, that, will they? you know, try to like, you're <laughs> pregnant with Chick-fil-A. Yep. Aaron, <laughs> why are you doing that? <laughs> anyway, Yo, please. You don't want to see me do that, bro. Like that that is so like I'll rude. Just, Please stay away from that. If that ever happens, they will announce it in their own time. Will they? Just please be respectful of that side. Uh, I didn't even think about that. Like, like what if I'm just bloated? People will be like, <laughs> she's pregnant now. <laughs> That's why they got married. <laughs> she <laughs> ate a burger. I don't a know. A food baby. A food baby. Anyway, oh, did they have a video about that before? Update on our lives. And be on the lookout for an official wedding video coming on YouTube. Wedding. Hey. So Bro, that's now. crazy. They got Veronica married, bro. And her name now. And I'm married. Veronica, and I'm Joe, Meryl, Burris, Burris, <laughs> Meryl, whatever. Yeah. We're going to be here but, all the time. Right, yeah. We will see you guys next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Happy New Year, you Happy guys. Happy New Year. Here's to 2020. Yeah. With new beginnings and fresh starts. In right, marriage. Yeah, it's in my it's in my videos. Yes, the Ron Ron story, Ron Ron story <laughs> on Aaron's channel for more information. For more information, <laughs> subscribe for to Aaron.
Aaron's channel. Because and my channel. Might be more Ron Ron content. And subscribe to our channel. Yeah, oh, yeah, subscribe to our channel. And here. And thanks, thanks for, watching. for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel by clicking this button right over uh, here. Wait, subscribe wait. to Aaron's channel by clicking this button. And right subscribe here. to mine by going down here. here. Done, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like if you did. Comment down below. Try to next and subscribe. Bro, that video was dope, man. It was like, it was just a good old emotional feel good video, bro. That's not much really I could say. Like, literally, Nessa stole the show with like explaining everything. Like, she even had me lost for words at times. I was just like, damn, she's right. Like, I didn't know what to say. Once again, shout out to Ron Ron. Congratulations to y'all. I love y'all. If there's any other videos by Merle, make sure to drop it down below to make sure to get to it. And with that being said, that's all I got for you today. I'll see you on the next one. It's been Eddie. Peace.